what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to properly backtest as a trader backtesting a trading strategy is extremely important because it allows you to test the strategy with historical data and see how it performs in different market conditions backtesting can help you identify any potential problem with the strategy and you can equally make adjustments before you start trading with real money some of the tools or will I say some of the platforms I use for my backtesting is I usually use TradingView, sometimes use GoCharting. Before you can actually use TradingView, you need to subscribe or upgrade to the premium package. And for GoCharting, it has a premium package equally, but you can use the playback tool for free. The truth is that there are limitations to the playback tools you use on GoCharting. But in terms of flexibility, I think trading view is one of the best okay if you're using metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 and you've not discovered about trading view i will suggest you try trading view out because trading view is one of the best if not the best backtesting to or will i say trading platform available in the market right now so most times i use trading view but sometimes i decide not to subscribe to the premium package if i don't want to backtest or if i don't want to use the tools platform i'm using for today's backtesting is actually trading view now let's jump straight into it how to backtest properly as a trader but before that i want to say a very big congratulations to us we just hit 20,000 subscribers here on youtube a very big thank you to all those who has contributed to the growth of this channel and i want to assure you that we're going to pay you back by uploading valuable content and we want to get this channel to 50,000 subscribers this is our new target okay since you've hit 20,000 subscribers we want to hit 50,000 subscribers as soon as possible and the only way we can get to 50,000 subscribers is if you continue to engage in our content that is if you continue to like comment and equally share our videos okay so thanks very much and expect much from us now back to the topic of today how to backtest properly as a trader now before you can actually backtest you have to choose the strategy you're going to backtest okay there are a lot of trading strategies right there so you have to make your choice and say okay this is the strategy i'm going to backtest you have to decide if you're going to backtest support and resistance strategy if you're going to backtest the trend line strategy the divergence strategy smart money strategy wyckoff patterns elliott wave are you going to backtest trading sessions or are you going to backtest kill zones because these are time-based strategies are you going to backtest them are you going to backtest the silver bullet strategy there are tons and tons of strategies you can actually use in the financial market so when you make your choice by choosing the strategy you have to backtest the very next thing you should do is write down your rules because every strategy has the rules of its own so write down the rules so i have my rules over here i already type the rules so let me paste right here so here are the rules firstly i want to identify the trend then identify a break of structure a market structure shift then select my poi there need to be a liquidity and a fair value gap to increase the probability of the setup playing out now i have to set my stop loss and my take profit i usually go for one is to four risk to reward ratio and that is what i'm going to backtest it in this video to see if i can actually get that and see if it will be a profitable risk to reward ratio then i have to wait for price to return to my point of interest so there are ways i usually do this sometimes if i have enough screen time i might be on my screen and wait for price to return always visiting my stream from time to time and the second way i can actually do that is i can go and set alerts okay it says alerts not currently available in replay mode no so i can't use the alert button but i do set alerts so once price comes to my point of interest i can place my order or i can set and forget or if i want to wait for confirmation entry i do set alert or i wait for price on my screen now this is what we're going to backtest in this lesson here are the rules i want to follow so firstly you can see if you look from here price switch trend from this area this is where we got a market structure shift and closely if you look at the price action we have here currently you see this is a break of structure price taking this particular high a valid break of structure and now you can actually map out your point of interest this area because this is a very good area which we could look to trade from if you want to take this trading setup okay so here is the point of interest now here are liquidity areas you have a lot of fair value gaps you can actually mark here as 
a liquidity area because price accumulates a little this is an accumulation then you can place my entry right here my stop loss below my zone and where is my one is to fall risk to reward ratio where is it gonna be this is sit right here here is the one is to fall down play price forward and see how it goes and you see price came very close to the point of interest and react to the upside so this is a very bit fast so use 3x so here is an inducement area and clearly call here an inducement area or another liquidity area so all this put together is increasing the probability of this setup playing out okay so price is not yet at our zone so we have to place our target correctly and make sure that this is the right area so we're actually still waiting for price to come back to this area to mitigate our zone now let's see what we have now you see price comes back mitigate our zone and you see our target was hit immediately so the first trading setup we took was a success and you see price hit our target and we got our one is to four the way i usually trade once price hit my one is to four i do close part of my position then move my stop loss to break even okay and try to manage my other positions to this target okay but the most important thing is that my first profit target has been hit and i paid myself early okay that's the most important thing so let's play price forward and see what price does and now you see price fails to take this particular high instead it comes lower to this area and what you can actually see is that price drops lower to mitigate this other block we have right here and equally fuels this fair value gap we have right here okay you see we have fair value gap right here but the most important thing is that we hit our targets and now our expectation is that price is going to take this particular high before we look to take another trade now playing price forward what price doing now we see that push to the upside and what you can actually see over here is that price breaks internal structure i hope you can clearly see that after the liquidity sweep price breaks internal structure and you see price mitigating this zone this is a very good setup but the truth is that i don't usually take this kind of trade because this one is not so clean it's a very good setup on a very good day i will take it but for now my expectation is that price is going to take this high so i will only look to take trade when price take this high so this is my personal rules i don't know how you trade your smart money concept but everyone has his or her own rules. so according to my rules i'm waiting for price to take this high first so let's see what price offers us now we get a pullback and finally price takes this high and now we're getting a quick retracement to the downside now if i'm looking to take another trade this area is where i'm gonna look to take a trade okay you see this area right here i'm gonna look to take a trade right here and you know this is an inducement area the way i mark it here is my inducement area and i'm still going to enter my trade that gets my one is to four you see here is my entry right here here is my one is to four where is my target here is my target right here so if price comes back to this area this is where i'm going to take my second trade now let's see if this one actually plays out now you see price starts to accumulate before it comes back to the zone so making this a higher probability setup after it builds this liquidity now it mitigates our zone and we're getting a reaction to the upside and finally price hits my one is to four risks to the war ratio now from what you can actually see i've won two good trades now price hits my targets what i usually do i close few positions i move my stop loss to break even and expect higher prices okay expect price to take this particular high right here so when price takes this high i will look to take other trades now let's see what we have now price comes back a little bit and price starts to accumulate a little and now we see price close above this high so this is another break of structure so i will continue to look for areas to trade from now at this point i won't think twice to look to trade from this area even though price has not built any liquidity yet but this will be a very good point of interest maybe before price we get to this zone we're going to see price build liquidity that is going to increase the probability of this zone and i probably have a very good place which i will look to trade from you see this zone right here this is another good zone if price actually makes it back to this particular area this is what we call a liquidity sweep pattern one of my best trading strategy here we have a liquidity sweep so i'll be considering taking another trade from that particular area now let's press price forward and see firstly here is my first zone i'm looking to go long from here this is my zone my stop loss below this area so what i'm showing you exactly is how i go about the market and how i take my trades okay this is how i see the market and this is how i take my trade although i don't spend time on single pair looking for trading setups okay 
I don't spend time on a single pair looking to take trades like this. But what you should note is that this is how I take my trades, how I move to different pairs and pre trading ideas. And what we're actually doing is we are backtesting smart money strategy to see if this strategy actually plays out. So, from what you can see, you see we've won two good trades one is to four, one is to four. So, if you are risking hundred dollars on each of our trade that is we've already won eight hundred dollars by just taking two trades so this is the third one and we have the fourth area which we'll be looking to trade from right here so let's see how this plays out now price is returning back to the zone and like i just said price just dropped an inducement area this is something we love to see okay so this is an inducement area and it has actually increased the probability of this setup playing out so playing price hold let's see what we have right here now price is facing back and you see a little push to the upside and what you can actually see is that price takes this particular low this one is a failed setup this one failed to hold price so this is a failed setup now this is the zone this one is a very good one you see we have a very tiny zone right here if i try to measure the zone we have right here you're gonna see that this is a very small zone this zone is less than eight pips so we're gonna take another trade from this particular zone you see stop loss below here and we're still gonna look for our one is to four okay you know we just lost a trade so this trade might be a recovery trade if it actually plays out okay now i think i should zoom in a little so we see clearly so here is our one is to four and let's see if price we actually mitigate the zone now we see price hits the zone you see we have another good trade here another good trade we lost this but this was a good one we had a good reaction so what you need to note is that price mitigates this particular zone and remember this was the current low you see this was the low that formed this particular high okay so this is our trading range we have been in this range so we are still in an uptrend okay so price mitigates and we hit our target very fast and easy so you don't really need to trade to get to this particular high to be a profitable trader if you use the right risk to reward ratio you're going to be a profitable trader and you're going to make money from the financial market so price hit our one is to four what i do is i move my stop loss to break even and try to manage my remaining trade and i'm expecting higher prices okay so playing price forward what can we actually see now price moves to the upside a little bit you see that reaction to the upside and now you see price fails okay you see the setup fails and price takes this low so just like i said a few moments ago that this was our trading range right here this low and this high this was our trading range now price takes the low you can see that we have a shift in market structure right here so you can see that price has switched structure price has switched from this bullish trend to a bearish trend so now we'll be expecting price to push to the downside because we have seen a change in market structure so what you're going to do is you're going to map out your point of interest you're going to look to mark from this area to this particular high if you see the way i mark my supply and demand zones a lot of people don't actually include the weeks but the way i trade i will always look to include the week of that candle and i equally have another good area which i could look to trade from you see this is the second area we look to trade from if price gets to this particular area okay it will be a refined zone because this one is very very large so i will equally look to refine this maybe to this particular area right here and look to trade from this area once price gets back to this point of interest so this is how you backtest your strategy look for those things you call your rules okay these are the rules look for it and work according to the rules and see if the strategy is going to present good setups because from what you can actually see we've won three good trades and we actually lost one of the trades so let's play price forward and see what we have if price is going to come to mitigate this zone right here and now price builds an inducement area which is something we would love to see after price builds this inducement area it continues to the downside and if you want to look at the internal structure this will be very valuable if you went to the lower time frame you're going to see that price shift in the structure because this is a lower time frame structure it will be very significant on the lower time frame and you equally have a zone right here so if you took a trade from here this will be a very good one but for me it's going to be a very risky trade because it's totally against the overall trend right now because we'll switch bearish so it's against the trend but it's a good setup in some cases i might risk it but for this example i'm not risking it i'm not taking any trade from this particular area but what you can actually see is that the trade plays out you see price 
moving to upside it mitigates the zone and it's actually hit this target so to tell you it was a very good trade so if you took a trade from here and target your one is to four you would have actually got it okay what i expect is price to come back to this area because this is the area i'll be looking to trade from let's play price for see what you actually have you see now price is spending a lot of time price came very close to our uh, inducement area you can clearly see that and you see a push to the downside but we are strictly waiting for price to come back to this particular area and now you see price is taking a lot of time to come back to mitigate this zone now let's see how it goes and finally price comes back to mitigate this zone so sorry we forgot to place our entry so here is our entry right here we're going short from this area stop loss above the zone few pips above the zone and where is our profit target you can see this is a very large zone that is why why our profit target is equally going to be large okay so here is our one is to four this area right here where is it here is our one is to four so we hope for price to hit our target so playing price forward what we can we actually see price starts to retrace a little and now you see price moving to the downside i hope you can clearly see that you see price moving to the downside can price actually hit our target because you see we having a slow movement right here price is slowing down this sign of weakness so let's see what we have and finally price hits our targets so this is the fourth time right this is the fourth time price is hitting our target and now we can actually move our stop loss right here because you see we have a slow movement over here our stop loss here and we close some of the positions i'm going to expect price to continue to the downside okay if price breaks structure right here if we have a break of structure we're going to look to trade from a point of interest at this particular area so let's see how it goes now price breaks structure to the downside so what you're going to do is you're going to map your point of interest so now we have two areas which we could be looking to trade from because at first this was an accumulation area and now we see that manipulation before they pushed to the downside so mapping out your point of interest right here is going to be a valid one so here is our point of interest this is the area which we'll be looking to trade from and we equally have another nice point of interest right here these are the two zones which we'll be looking to trade from so we're going to place our entry right here because this is the nearest zone we have so entry right here and where is our profit target our profit target is going to be one is to four so one thing you have to notice is that any trade we have a very large zone our profit target is going to be very far away from that zone so one is to four where is it so here is the one is to four right here now let's play price forward and see how it goes so this is simply how you can back test your strategy okay you see price is actually moving to the downside without actually coming back to mitigate that zone but we still have to wait okay we still have to wait and see what price presents to us now we're getting that pullback which we really want to see and now finally price comes back to mitigate this zone so here is our entry right here we're gonna expect price to hit our target and remember we still have the second point of interest that if this particular point of interest fails to hold price now playing price forward let's see what we have price is actually moving to our target we get a pullback and a continuation to the downside and was price able to hit our target we're still getting another slow price action right here so price is finding it hard price came very close to our target and we're getting a retracement and from what you can see price didn't actually hit the profit target but we came very close to it okay came very close to it and you see a retracement and now price breaks above here so in this case it might actually be you were able to lock in profit that is moving your stop loss or you lost this trade for this price didn't hit the target correctly because from what i can see here price came very close and retraced to the upside so this is a failed setup okay i'm going to consider that as a failed setup what you can see is that price takes this high right here so we have a liquidity sweep over here so i will equally look to trade from this particular area okay can look to trade from this particular point of interest that's if price mitigates this zone before hitting this point of interest because this is a higher time frame point of interest if price hits the higher time frame point of interest first i won't look to trade from here but if price hits this area first i will look to trade into this particular zone okay so this is how i trade and this is how I see my trading setup so this is my zone right here here is my profit target here is my profit target about one is to four and finally you see price mitigates our zone and very close to our target now our target has been hit 
and now we'll be expecting price to mitigate this zone so we look to trade from this zone and you see price came very close to that particular zone so what we're going to do is we're going to place our entry and from what you can see price already mitigates the zone so we're going short from this position okay we go short from here and where is our profit target so i have to move this to break even because you know this is actually a winning trade we want this one the ones i'm leaving the stop loss areas are the ones we failed to win okay so we have to place our targets where is our one is to four is actually our one is to four so let's see how this one plays out and you see price <laughs> takes us out of this trade okay <laughs> this is actually a failed setup okay this is now a failed setup and price breaks above this current high so we have another liquidity sweep right here so this is another place we're going to look to take a trade because we have this zone right here so this is another place which i will consider to take a trade as if price comes back to this particular area so let's see let's increase the speed of this and see if price actually came back to this particular area and you see price has switched trend once more and it has moved away okay see price has moved away from this particular area and it failed to come back so this is actually the way you can backtest your strategy and from our backtesting from the data we have gathered so far because if you check we backtested from here what is this here is july we backtested from july and where are we currently we are here on november okay 30th november almost okay this is the first of december so we backtested from july to december that is for the period of six months so we just gathered a six months data and in six months what you can clearly see is that we won one two three four five we won five trades and we lost three so if you try to check it we are using one is to four risk to reward and let's say what we are risking on each of these trade is hundred dollar we are risking hundred dollar and risking hundred dollar for the for six months we lost three trade so that means we lost three hundred dollar in six months and we actually won what one two three four and five risking hundred dollar and we won five trades using one is to four risk to the world so that is four hundred dollar we won four hundred dollar on each of our winning trades times the five trade we won that is we made two thousand dollar in the period of six months and if we minus our three losing trades that is the three hundred dollar that is in six months what we are able to achieve is one thousand seven hundred dollar which is still a very good one and if you trade this way you actually profitable so this is how you can actually backtest your strategy write down the rules and follow your rules okay so this particular trade we lost right here this was out of ignorance because price came very close i'm not sure let me zoom in and see how we fail to hit our targets right here because price came very close this was not even up to a peep so someone might have got out this was about how many peeps less than five peeps okay less than five peeps so this was why we lost this particular one and you see we equally got a good trade right here but this area i wasn't looking to trade from this particular area because it was a very bit risky okay the trend was still very clean bearish right here so why i was able to get in right here because i was getting bullish intention and i was actually waiting for price to hit this target because price has mitigated this zone so we are expecting price to mitigate this particular zone right here so this is it and i hope you were able to understand how to back test properly okay so thanks very much for watching this one and remember i said consider subscribing to the channel we've hit 20,000 subscribers and we are looking to get to 50,000 subscribers so support us and be part of this family so thank you very much and see you in the next one